Hi guys, and thanks for joining me for this part two of basically configuring layer three switching and inter VLAN routing. So what I'm gonna do is we've just finished off part one where we got the connectivity working between this switch and the ISP. So now what we're gonna dive into, guys, is we're gonna start to configure inter VLAN routing. So the first thing I'm gonna to need to do is I'm gonna to need to add some VLANs. So again, at this moment in time, I've got some PCs here. Let's imagine, for example, PC0 is on the, let's imagine it's on the staff VLAN. Let's imagine PC1 is on, for example, the student VLAN. And let's imagine, for example, we have PC2. Let's imagine this is a university. We have a faculty VLAN. So again, and we could do the same thing over here on the other side. So if we just get rid of that for a moment, and if we come over here, let's imagine PC3, because this is on the 10 network, we'll say, we'll keep the same um, you know, uh, VLAN configuration. I'm gonna say staff VLAN, and we can see that this 20 network, we'll say this is again, this is the, um, this is the student VLAN. So let's put student VLAN. And let's say for PC5, let's say this again, because again, keep it simple, keep it um, keep it same on both sides. Let's call this the faculty VLAN. So now what I'm gonna to need to do, guys, is on my multi-layer switch or my layer three switch, I'm gonna to need to configure these VLANs. So again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dive in, make this nice and big so we can see it. As we can see, we've got some VLANs already, but again, what I'm gonna to need to do is I'm gonna to need to configure these VLANs. So again, we're saying in this particular case, and because we're using, let's keep things, and I like to keep things simple, because we've got, for example, the this is the 10 network, 192.168.10 network slash 24, let's call this our staff, the 20, let's say student, and 30, let's say faculty. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go conf t and I'm gonna go VLAN 10, I'm gonna call this name and we'll check their staff. Then basically I'm gonna go exit, I'm gonna go VLAN 20, I'm gonna say name, I'm gonna say student, and then I'm gonna say exit, and then I'm gonna go VLAN 30, and I'm gonna say name faculty. Okay, so once we've done that guys, we've now created our VLANs on our multi-layer switch. To check that, of course, we can go show VLAN. Now again, at this moment in time, guys, we don't have any ports connected. Okay, so again, there's no ports here with PCs in here. And this might play a role of, if you like, if you remember our hierarchical network, where we have our access layer, and this switch here, this multi-layer switch, is kind of playing the role of our distribution layer. So again, we've got our three VLANs configured. I've also got a management VLAN there as well, 99. So now, what's our next step? Well, our next step is what we've got to do, now that we've added our VLANs, we've got to configure our switched virtual interfaces, also known as our SVIs. So what we can see here, guys, is if we just have a look at this PC here, we can see that it's got, it's on the staff VLAN, it's on this 10 network, it's got an IP address of 192.10.1 with a slash 24 mask. But you can see the default gateway for this PC is 192.168.10.254. So where is the default gateway gonna be? It's not gonna be on this layer two switch. It's not gonna be on this layer two switch. It's gotta be on our layer three switch. So what we're gonna do at the moment, and you can see as I hover over here, we don't currently have any SVIs. You can see down at the bottom here, you can see basically all I have, and if we go into, for example, our switch here, if I just go show IP interface brief to see this a bit more clearer, we don't have any currently SVIs. The only one we have here is we have VLAN one, but this hasn't even been assigned an IP address. Now again, from best practice and security, a lot of the time what we say is don't, for example, keep things on VLAN one, usually move them away is a better security practice, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create now these SVIs, these interfaces, to act as our default gateways for each of our PCs. So we're gonna need to create three SVIs, one for VLAN, basically 10 for the staff VLAN, one for VLAN 20, and one for VLAN 30. 
So let's do this. Now again, you might have remembered when I went to create the VLANs, what did I do? I went VLAN, for example, 10. But now we're creating the interface, the SGIs. And the key word there, guys, is actually interface. What I need to do is I always need to add interface, then I say VLAN 10. Now what it's going to do is it's going to bring up that virtual interface. And now what I can do is I can give it the IP address. So what IP address will I give it? Well, again, remember the way we've designed this network, it's basically showing us here that in the staff VLAN, the default gateway is 192.10.254. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep that addressing. So I'm going to say IP address 192.168.10.254. And then what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to do my subnet mask. So again, this is again a slash 24 network. So once I've done that, folks, you can see now, if, for example, I go exit and exit again, if I go show IP interface brief, what I can see now is I can see at the bottom of this, look, I've just brought up my new SVI port. Now, why isn't this coming up, up and up at the moment? Well, you can see that the IP address is in there. That's good. The layer one configuration is up, but the layer two configuration is down because there's no ports on this particular layer three switch at the moment that's in basically an upstate in VLAN 10. Now, when we go to start adding trunk ports, basically this will change to an upstate. But for now, let's just add our, basically our SVIs. So again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go conf T, I'm gonna again type interface, that's the important word here, VLAN 20 in this case, and then I'm gonna say IP address, and I'm gonna say 192.168. And I've got to be careful here, 20.254. And then I'm going to put in 255, 255, 255 .0. And then what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to exit that. I'm going to need to go interface and let's do VLAN 30. And then basically I would say IP address and give again 192.168.30.254. And then again with our subnet mask of 255, 255, 255.0. Once I've done that guys, I can now go exit, exit, and do a show IP interface brief. And now I should see my three SVI ports. So again, there they all are. They're all in this basically state of, I've given them all IP addresses. We can see the layer two information is down at the moment. Don't worry about that. When we start to do trunking, we start to add ports in, that should hopefully change to up. Now again, remember guys, I could have, to put any IP address here. So again, I could have changed as an administrator, I have full control over this. So I could have made this 192.10.10, for example, but then I would have needed to ensure that any basically PCs on the staff VLAN point their default gateways at 10.10 .10 if I was to change this. Remember, this is just like the doorway out of the network for these PCs. Okay, so, or indeed, if they need to communicate via inter-VLAN communication. So again, if I wanted to ping, for example, PC0 to PC1, well, because they're on different VLANs, they're in different subnets, what will have to happen is this PC will have to talk through here rather than being able to go directly into this. It won't do that. It will have to get routed up to the default gateway. And then what we'll have to do is we'll have to use our routing capabilities on our layer three switch to send this packet straight back down here to communicate with the other PC. And we'll see this and we'll verify this a little bit later. But for now, guys, in this second, this part two of this video, what we've done is we've configured inter VLAN routing. Well, not yet, we're, we're getting there. We've done the first two parts. We've added our VLANs and we've configured our switch virtual interfaces. Now, again, if you wanted to add another switch virtual interface of VLAN 99, it's the same procedure, obviously just giving a different IP address as VLAN 99's IP address there. But for now, guys, what I'd like you to do, what, what I'd like you to do guys, is please join me for our next video that's going to be part three where we're going to actually configure the trunking of this layer three switch okay thanks for joining me and see you soon